So we're here at Mobile World Congress 22 with Red Hat. Um, Daryl, great to see you. Um, nice to see you, Gabriel. Fantastic to be back in an event. Um, so one thing I noticed, start with the personal first, I guess. You had an update on your job title. I've been uh, looking at your LinkedIn before the, before the interview. You're now VP for TME and Strategic Industries, if I've understood. Just tell me like, what, what that involves and how that reflects how Red Hat is set up. Absolutely. Um, we, we've reorganized our business around the telecommunications, media and entertainment vertical. So we've actually built a complete uh, business unit from sales to sales support to services through to partner engagement in one group, big group. We also have an industries organization as well. And the reason we're focusing on that is because a lot of our customers, i.e. the telcos, in, for example, their customers' customer in the way that they're going to ge generate new revenues from new services are going to be from those industries. So customers from financial services, healthcare, industrial 4.0, which is energy, oil, gas, uh, petrochemical uh, industry, renewables um, all going to be an important part of the ecosystem that we bring together to help our customers and their customers utilize the technologies that we're, we're facilitating and building at Red Hat. And you kind of play a role connecting all these constituencies I mean you know it's, it's obviously not your job to to, to match make as such, but you know, how does that work? Do you, you, you set out requirements, you make introductions, what's the...? the well, well, open source is, is really a, a mechanism of building code, software, and in order to build that software, you need different communities with different experiences and many different use cases. So in the nature of everything that we do at Red Hat is embedded in that developers from all those different industry segments. Mm -hmm. So we're interconnecting with them all the time, looking at those use cases and working with them to contribute code into the upstream communities that then many customers and the whole ecosystem can bring down and use themselves. Yeah. Uh, and the way that we monetize that is actually uh, through a subscription. We, we provide support and services around that. Yeah. And just then talk us a little bit about the actual, the mechanics of that, that partnering through open source contributions and how, how does that go from an idea to code to that well, we put into the ecosystem. We normally start a sort of a use case, and uh, you know, one use case, and I'm just making this up, but it'll illustrate what I'm talking about. We could be looking at healthcare as an industry segment. We could be looking at X-rays, uh, collecting many different X-rays, looking at those X-rays for cancer per se. And using AI and machine learning technologies, we can actually minimize the amount of errors at the edge of the network that a doctor or a practitioner might uh, miss in a particular x-ray. So we can actually send back to the main hospital you know, relevant information and data that they can then act upon quickly and more f proficiently. So we're, we're working with the practitioners, the healthcare industry, the telecommunications industry, the technology that would sit at the edge of the telco network that would facilitate that, as well as the underlying network infrastructure itself to deliver that. Yeah, really interesting time. It's going to be super interesting to see how these, some of these services get put together, how um, X industry or Y industry works through the, the CSPs, the telco industry, just to kind of you know, de deliver that, I guess, value to the customer. Yeah, I think I think innovation in this space is going to come from what I say is elsewhere. We're, we're just providing the fabric and the interface for the developer communities and the core technology that we build in terms of our platform in order to stimulate that innovation. So, you know, people that actually are in the marketplace in the open source communities looking at applications and how to utilize that infrastructure really is where the innovation is going to start coming from, particularly in 5G. Daryl, we're Red Hat. Thanks very much. Thank you.